So here now to help us understand the law, the Second Amendment and gun rights is Jonathan Turley, George Washington University law professor and constitutional law attorney. Jonathan, welcome. Always good to have you on the Thank show. Thank you. Um, you know, a lot of talk, obviously, about how this can happen. How do people get their hands on these weapons? There ought to be a law is sort of the, you know, the immediate response. The problem is there is a law, right? Well, there is. I mean, first of all, you start with the Second Amendment, which limits what you can do in limiting the right of ownership. But there's still room there. The Supreme Court has said that there aren't any absolute rights, including the Second Amendment, so you can have reasonable limitations. In 1986, before that opinion was ever handed down, the Congress outlawed machine guns, uh, that uh, weapons that have an automatic fire uh, component. And that was a crime, still is a crime. Now, whether you use something like these bump stocks or other things to get around the law is something Congress can look at. If you use a bump stock, technically you're not in possession of an automatic weapon. You're essentially making a semi-automatic perform like an automatic. And so many people have identified that as something they want to look at. But many of the proposals that are being made would either be unconstitutional or they wouldn't have changed the outcome here. You know, these laws get put into place, and I remember after uh, Sandy Hook, there was a lot of discussion about the magazine, the number of bullets that could be fired at once, and I, I'm not good with this lingo because right. I don't know that much about the guns except what I've been, you know, studying to, to work on these stories. Um, so changes get made, but it doesn't seem like it matters. It seems like people can pretty much get their hands on anything they want. Well, they can. I mean, first of all, we have to keep uh, our, our head about us. I mean. There are senseless acts of violence, and it's hard to make sense out of them, but it's figuring out what this man was thinking. And you do have illegal possession of semi-automatic weapons. So even if you don't have a bump stock, you can pull that trigger a lot and cause a lot of the damage. And so we have to live within the reality that we do have a lot of weapons in this country. Now, there are things that can be looked at that might pass constitutional muster. Background checks, for example, might pass the Heller test. Uh, there, you know, it is possible to criminalize conversion kits. It's actually legal to sell a conversion kit. It's just illegal to use it. And so uh, that is something Congress can look at. But the fact is that the opposition to the added gun control laws is seen not just in the Republican Party, but also the Democratic Party. After the, the massacre occurred at Sandy Hook, it was a Democrat Congress that ultimately declined to, to make reforms. Jonathan Turley, thank you very much. Thank Always you. good to see you. Thanks for coming tonight.